Hey everyone, this is Chad with Good Creative Tutorial, and today I want to go over the sponge tool. It can be useful for increasing or decreasing saturation in a photo. So go ahead and open up a photo in Photoshop and click and hold under the dodge tool, or just press O on the keyboard, it should select it. Just click and hold then, and go down to the sponge tool. Alright, and you'll look up at the top, and of course you have all the different brush settings and options that you do with any tool that uses the brush, but you have something specific to the sponge uh, tool, just either saturate or desaturate. So if you choose saturate, that's just going to make those colors more vivid, more saturated, and if you do desaturate, it will make them less saturated. Flow is just how powerful the effect is, and if you want, you can enable airbrush, just the buildup effects, and then vibrance is basically going to try to reduce that clipping where it keeps it from going into color ranges specific to that color that are out of the range of printing so I just keep that checked by default and then of course if you have a pen and tablet you can apply pressure and, and uh, that will override some of the settings in the brushes panel so let's go ahead and get started I like to work on a duplicated layer so go ahead and press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac and if you just have this set to saturate, if you just click and drag, you'll notice it just saturates the colors around uh, the model there a little bit more. So they pop out. So you can toggle the eye icon and show the before and after. Uh, you can do this where it just gets too saturated. Uh, and let's say you had an area where you didn't want to be saturated. Of course, you can go back to the history panel. You could do edit undo. You could also add a mask to this top layer and just paint some black in on that mask uh, with a brush where you want it to show through and probably just have a soft edge brush here show through to the original layer if you did it too much um, you could also of course adjust the opacity if it was too strong of an effect alright so another example here uh, I'm gonna go again into this landscape photo and use the sponge tool but let's try desaturate so desaturating, it just makes it a little bit less saturated, almost like it's going to eventually become grayscale, but it doesn't quite. If you just click and let go, click and let go, you know, clicking and dragging over and over and over, certain hues are desaturated more quickly, just depending on their um, initial saturation settings. Uh, and you can also, of course, do saturate, just make these colors pop out a little bit more. So that's the sponge tool. It's pretty basic. Of course, you can also do a saturation effect if you go to image adjustments and hue saturation and bump up the saturation overall. And then you could just apply a mask and just mask out to the original layer if you duplicated it initially. That's just another way to do it, but this just is a quicker technique if you just want to quickly saturate certain areas or desaturate certain areas in a photo.